Hey everybody and now welcome to part 3 of 3. Enjoy. Speedtest.net, a lot of people have seen I use that application to do speed test from 3G, on Wi-Fi, whatever it might be. Um, I just like testing speed from time to time. Spirit, definitely go pick this up if you've not picked it up yet. It is a highly addictive game and basically you're a little spirit going all the way around and you've got to kind of, how can I explain it, you kind of got to avoid stuff but at the same time you've actually got to circle stuff and actually destroy stuff while avoiding laser beams. Um, I'm probably going to do a full review on that one as well. <laughs> stumble upon, you all know what stumble upon is, this is the mobile application. So if you're bored and you want to stumble upon something, ba boom, there you go. Um, super super SU, um, there's another one called super user. Um, very, very similar. And what it does is it manages your root access. Again, it's a root only application, so if you're not if you've not got a modified ROM, if you've not rooted your device, ignore what I'm saying. And basically what you can do is you can say, right, I want to grant access to this dev this certain application that wants root access, I want to deny this application. So you can kind of you know give it access, deny access from time to time. You know, it's needed for every root root device. Um, I did use Super as before, but Super SU is now my personal favourite. Uh, Swift Key 3, um, I, I normally have this hid but I've shown it just for today just so you can actually see it. Uh, basically in Swift Key 3, uh, obviously it's a, it's a keyboard app replacement. My favourite keyboard at the moment, I'm generally a swipe fan, but Swift Key is now my number one. Um, and it can actually predict what I'm going to talk, what I'm going to say before I even know what I'm going to say sometimes. It's pretty crazy. System config, basically in there you can just config certain things that you can't normally config on a normal device. Uh, cool, you know, very cool, and then just kind of like change some things in there. We've got Talk, which is Google Talk. Um, so obviously, you know, you want to talk on it. <laughs> Basically, what it is is it's like a message application, and you can also do video calls, etc. On there, cool. You know, it's cool. I don't use it that often, but I have it there. I do get messages from time to time. Temple Run. We all know what Temple Run is. Uh, obviously, a cool game. Let's zoom out a little bit. That's a final page. Here we are, we're just going to have a couple of more of these applications. We've got Titanium Backup, which is another root only application. And basically, it's probably the one of the best, if not the best, root application you can get. And basically, in, in Titanium Backup, you can pretty much do what it says it is. You can back up your stuff. So you can back up your data, you can back up anything. And then you can actually sync it to a Dropbox account. So if you back up your whole phone, sync it to a Dropbox account. If you get a new phone in the future, or you destroy your phone or whatever, Install Titanium Backup again, download those files, boom, you've got your phone back again. It's a very cool way so you never actually lose any of your data. Highly recommended. Google Translate, pretty much where it says it is. From time to time I get people messaging me in different languages, so I have that there, so I can actually reply to them. Twit Plus, which I'll come into in a sec, obviously the standard Twitter application. Highly recommended. I have been using other ones, but I've kind of got stuck on the proper one now. Um, I don't know why, it's just, it seems, I like push notifications and none of the other ones offer it right now. But this little bad boy here is definitely needed. If you use a Twitter application, get Twit Plus. In Twit Plus, um, what you can do, instead of actually having to go to the browser to view, like say, an image from Instagram or from, you know, YFrog, etc. It, it aggregates all to the normal application uh, and it pops up in front of you. I'm probably going to do a separate video on this one. But basically, I highly recommend getting Twitter Plus. If you've not used it or have never had it, but use the official application, get Twitter Plus now. Ustream, you probably all know what Ustream is. Um, you can stream live straight to the internet, you know, do a live show, whatever it might be. You can view them as well. Viber, which is basically a way of making free telephone calls via your, um, let's say, Wi Fi or cellular data, whichever you want to use. Uh, video player, pretty much straightforward, the stock video player, it's probably my favourite one. Um, MX player as well is good, but this one, it just does everything I want it to do, so there's no point changing it. We've got voice recorder, which again comes standard on the phone. Pretty much what it says it is, record your voice. Wall bass, I've got a video coming up on this one soon. Everyone keeps asking me, Sam, Sam, where do you get all your cool, you know, all your cool wallpapers from? Wall bass is one of those places. Definitely go check out wall bass, and it's free in the Android market. Google Wallet, some people are thinking, Sammy Cat is that in the UK? This is the patched one from Paul O'Brien from Modico. Uh, big props to Modico, um, Paul O'Brien. Uh, go follow him on Twitter, go check out his website. Awesome, awesome guy. Does a lot of cool things. Um, obviously, Google Wallet, you can you know, use it in certain places. WhatsApp, as I said, we previously with Kick earlier. Basically, WhatsApp, it's a free message application. And obviously, you can send messages to anyone in the world. Wikipedia, um, I like using this application, some people just go use the mobile web. Um, I like using this one, it seems a bit faster than the mobile web, 
Um, so I definitely recommend it. WordPress, now my website runs on WordPress, so if I want to upload something while I'm out and about, boom, use the actual WordPress application. It's there straight away. Um, this one's a pretty cool one, which is the Xbox Media Center Remote. Um, now I've got a little um, a little net top PC that I use for my home media PC, and it runs the um, Xbox Media Center. And basically, running that, I can control it, and it uses this as a remote control. Highly recommended if you use it. You can get it for Android, and you can also get it for iPhone as well. Go pick that up, and it's again, it's completely free. You can't complain. XDA Premium. Now obviously, there's a free version as well, but I recommend supporting XDA. Get the premium version, um, and basically it's just a way of actually viewing their forums, so you can reply, you view, you know, view the latest posts, etc. Yammer, I use this for my job at work. Um, Yammer, basically what it is, it's kind of like a business version of Facebook, <laughs> as we all know. The um, Microsoft just bought it for 1.2 billion, I think it was. Uh, and if anyone don't know what Yammer is, it pretty much what it is is it's another variation of Facebook just for businesses. It's pretty cool, but not real. I only have it there so I can check stuff out for work. Yell, I have Yell on here. Um, anyone don't know what Yell is? It's for the Yellow Pages. Yeah, obviously in the UK, just you know, Yell.com, uh, .co.uk, Yell.com, one of those two. Um, and basically on there, you can find out, you know, at certain local places, local telephone numbers. I have it on there if I need to call, you know, if you need to find a local business. We've got YouTube, obviously the, YouTube, the standard YouTube application, which was being updated. Fantastic application, definitely recommend for any YouTuber. Zedge on here you can download free games, free live wallpapers, live normal wallpapers, ringtones, notification tones. If you've never used Zedge, definitely recommend picking it up. I don't recommend it for wallpapers because they're not the highest quality. That's what wallbase is for. But for ringtones, they're completely free of charge. Get them all on there. And last but certainly not least, we've got the uTorrent remote. Anyone that uses a torrent application, you know, say uTorrent, then on here you can actually you know, control them, you know, pause them, delete them, whatever you want to do. It's a remote control for you, Torrent, on your computer. So, people, that's it. That's uh, my look at what's on my Android. The video is about 25 or 26 minutes long. So, you've probably seen that. I've probably cut it into more than one video. I may even put it into three different videos, this one. Um, but, yeah. Sorry for the long video. If you, Again, if you want to see me do a review, you know, certain reviews on uh, certain applications, or if you want to review them all, you know, let me know about down below. And I'll certainly try and do my best. Anyway, people, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions about them, you know what to do by now. Hit me up down below. And yeah, I shall see you in my next video. <laughs> Cheers, everyone.